Hello, today I am sharing my favorite fibromyalgia treatment gadgets and tricks. I did a live video on this a couple of weeks ago. I will link it in the description below, but I had a lot of people say, well, Tara, this is a lot of stuff. I only have $50, where do I start? So I'm gonna give you a kind of a shorter version here because I know it's totally overwhelming. I've had fibromyalgia for 35 years. I've been doing my own fibromyalgia treatment for about the last 18, 19 years, trying to get myself better. And as you can see from this thumbnail from that video, yes, I'm doing significantly better. Not cured, but I am significantly better. So these are my top treatments. First of all, start with free. Free, start exercising. Exercising is imperative. Now I know you think you cannot exercise, but trust me, you can. Even if it's just sitting in your chair, move those arms, move those legs, get some soup cans, start doing some bicep curls with some soup cans, start doing some push-ups against the wall, do exercise. Even if it's just walking down the basement or upstairs a couple of times a day, get moving. The more you move, the less your muscles will hurt, and then the more you'll have energy and you'll be able to start doing more. People always tell me, Tara, how do you do so much with fibromyalgia? I do not let myself just sit all day long. I move and I exercise and I keep my body going even when it's painful. Next, take a bath or a shower if it helps. I personally take a bath every single night to help relieve my fibromyalgia pain. It is one of my fibromyalgia treatments that I do. Every night I take a bath. So if that helps you, some people it doesn't, but if it helps you, then go ahead and do that. The next third free thing you can do is change your diet. I know, believe me, I am a cookbook author. I love food. I am not going to tell you this is easy by any stretch of the imagination, but when I keep dairy, gluten, and sugar, and corn out of my diet, it really significantly helps. I'm not cured, but I really go from a fibromyalgia pain of 10 being the very worst down to probably a three or four. I really do if I keep my diet. Now, I totally get it. It is not easy. It's why I wrote my gluten-free, dairy-free cookbook because everybody kept asking me, Tara, what are recipes that I can eat that are gluten-free, dairy-free that still tastes good? Well, that's why I wrote the cookbook. Now, my cookbook still has sugar in it. So if you need to go sugar-free also, then you'll have to use a sugar substitute. But nowadays, most sugar substitutes like Splenda and all still use them even with gluten-free, dairy-free baking quite easy. So. And you know what, guys? Just to help you with even more free, I'm gonna give you the ebook of our gluten-free, dairy-free cookbook for free for you to try out. The link will be in the description below. Just put the ebook in your cart and go to the very end where it says discount. Type in GFDF for the code, GFDF. Hit apply and you won't be charged for the ebook. That way you can see if it's something that might help you. Cause I know I lived on $300 a month and let me tell you, it stinks when you don't have any money and you're sick and you want to try and do something. So start with free first. Now, these are products that I have purchased that have helped my fibromyalgia. And all of these links are gonna be in the description below. Yes, they're affiliate links. Yes, we get a small commission, but these are products that I bought even before we were affiliates, so these are products that I've used for years. Number one, a massage gun. That really helps. I can massage my calves, I can massage my shoulders and my arms myself, and that way I can get rid of some of those knots or at least lower them a little bit and relax some of those muscles with a massage gun. I have a heavy duty one like this, but you can get a cheaper one like this just at Walmart or wherever. I'll link below so you can see what I'm talking about. But I do like the heavier duty one. It does last longer and it doesn't burn out as quickly as the smaller one. So I use it every single day. 
and it really helps my muscles. Now, on the big massage gun, be super careful. You do not hold it more than about 20 to 30 seconds on each knot or sore spot because you will bruise yourself. So you have to be careful and don't overdo it. I did also cure my plantar's fasciitis using the massage gun on my calves, ankles, and feet. I was to the point where I thought I was gonna be wheelchair bound and I started using the massage gun on my calves and my, and my ankles and feet, and I cured it in two weeks, and it went away. So now, if my plantar fasciitis starts coming back, I just sit down for 10, 15 minutes and rub it on each spot on my legs and calves, and then I just spend 15, 20 minutes rubbing it up and down my calf and my feet and my ankles, and then my plantar fasciitis is gone in a couple of days. It's just a tightening of the calf muscles and you have to keep those muscles loose. The next thing is shoes. I got these clogs. I absolutely love them. They help relieve the pain. They help relieve the pressure so that I can stand for longer periods of time and I can walk without so much pain. The next thing is an ice pack. I know it sounds crazy, but Ice really does help. I didn't believe the doctor until the time when my plantar fasciitis was so bad. We were walking around Estes Park, Colorado, and I thought Mike was gonna have to carry me back to the car. I was like, I cannot move. I don't know what I'm gonna do. So he hobbled me over to the creek that is fed by snow melt <laughs> in the summer. It's just the snow that's melting off the mountains and it comes down to the, the river. And I put my feet in there. Oh my goodness, it felt so good. It brought down the inflammation. You're not gonna leave it on there a long time, but it does bring down the inflammation and then turn around and use heat on it. I know that's crazy, but then the cold ice brings down the inflammation and the heat relaxes the muscle. And then the massage relaxes the muscles and gets things like the lactic acid out of your muscles and get your muscles working better, okay? The next thing is Alka-Seltzer. I know this sounds crazy, but regular good old Alka-Seltzer, you can just get the generic one with the aspirin, the baking soda and citric acid that's in it. I don't know what's in there, but when I have a flare, if I take an Alka-Seltzer, it will bring me down from a 10 to probably a four to five. It really does. It, it helps with those flares really well. It also helps with food sensitivities. I have like 46 ridiculous food sensitivities. I know it's absolutely ridiculous, but if, but if I eat something and I start feeling myself getting sick, if I take that Alka-Seltzer, I start immediately, I mean, we're talking less than five minutes, I immediately start feeling better. Now, if you can't take aspirin, here's the link below for the Alka-Seltzer Gold, and it is the Alka-Seltzer without aspirin, and that really helps. Then, if you can't afford either one, you can take a half a cup of water with a half a teaspoon of baking soda and stir it in there and drink that, and that will help also. The Alka-Seltzer helps the best, but the baking soda water also helps if you can't get the Alka-Seltzer or you run out or whatever. So try those things. The next thing is magnesium malate. That helps with my muscle soreness and it helps me sleep. It also helps if you have pooping problems and how you'll know if you're taking too much is it'll give you diarrhea. So if you take the recommended six pills and you're just, letting it all go. <laughs> I don't know how to be delicate about this. Back down one pill and keep backing down until you just have normal, firm bowel movements. So your colon is free from its bondage, but it's not too free from its bondage, okay? <laughs> Let's, I don't know how to put that. <laughs> uh, the next thing is a massage tool. If you can't afford the massage guns, this massage tool does help so that your thumb doesn't get worn out massaging those places that hurt really bad. Also a full back massager. I got this full back massager. I just sit it on my chair, let it run up and down my back and it really helps relieve the pain in the muscles in my back. 
The next thing along with that is a neck massager. It also helps with the pain in your neck and shoulders, especially nowadays with everybody looking down on their phones and their computers. The other thing you can do is stand up against a wall and do a wall angel and your back, neck and head are all flat and your arms are flat against the wall and stretch all these muscles, okay? The other thing you can do is lay backwards. Now this takes a little bit of coordination, but if you lay backwards on a yoga ball and just let everything hang out, that will stretch all of these muscles also and help bring you some pain relief. I also have, now this is expensive, I know, but I got mine free from a neighbor who was moving. You can find them really cheap on Facebook Marketplace and garage sales. It is not necessary at all, but I just happen to like it. And so it does help with exercising for me and keep me motivated to keep exercising. I just turn on a video on a Bowflex beginner's exercise routine and that's what I do. Also, if you guys would comment and tell me what your fibromyalgia treatment options are, your best fibromyalgia treatment things that you do, a lot of this stuff I learned from reading comments on products or reading comments in articles on websites or whatever. And I learned from other people who were doing it. And so I would try something. The great thing about Amazon and Walmart is you can buy something and try it. And if it doesn't work, then you can return it. Right now, Amazon has returns until January 31st, which is way longer than their 30 day return policy for they're doing it for Christmas. So now is the time to buy these things and see if they work and if they'll last. So far, everything I've recommended has lasted, but you never know. And so that's why I try them now. Next is a mouth guard. If you've been clenching from the pain, which I have done for 30 years and it's caused massive headaches, a mouth guard might help. Now, I will tell you though, I took the massage tool and I would massage my jaw back up in here, my temples right down in here. I used to get shots in my throat right here to relax these muscles to stop my headache pain. And I've been massaging that, massaging all of my jaw, massaging inside my jaw. You can feel the muscle at the rack here. Right there's a ledge, rub that. Also, I have been <laughs> stretching my jaw. So, eh. Hold it for 30 seconds as wide as you can get. I did not realize my jaw had gotten so tight. And I went from three quarters of an inch to an inch and a half in being able to open my mouth in two weeks. I couldn't believe my jaw was so tight. But guess what? I have had a permanent headache for 30 years. And guess what? it's gone, almost totally gone. I'm not gonna say it's totally gone, but I have not had to have a painkiller, which was my daily routine for years for the three weeks that I've been doing this. So try stretching your jaw if you're having headaches and see if that will help relieve some of that TMJ headache pain. And I totally get it. When you're in pain, you start clenching, I get it but I just stretch my jaw six to eight times a day, or if I'm noticing I do it, purposely stretch it after that for 30 seconds. Guys, go watch this video here on everything I did for my fibromyalgia treatment. Visit us at livingonadime.com, and we will see you guys next time.